Well, hello everyone. Um, I'm very happy with this is my New England Patriots hat. I'm very happy with the New England Patriots, what they draft. Uh, the young man, uh, the OG offensive line, front line. I don't, um, what, what, I'm very happy with that pick. To New England fans, to New England Patriots fans, you need to relax. All the players they've been complaining about, what we let go in free agents, what we sign, what we draft the last few years. To all the New England Patriots fans, to all the players we let, we did not draft in the last few years, how are you doing? Uh, how are they doing? Most of the players, NFL, pipes up and hypes up for no reason. They have not lived up to expectations. They have not... Uh, been through the big games they have not played very well they have not um came through in the big games. so all the new england fans you need to relax because if we paid all the players and draft high players like all the players in the last few years and up to now we we would not be winning the super bowls we would be over the cap hit the cap we could not make the moves we usually make even if we paid Tom Brady all that money and paid all, paid all the free agents and the top receivers we missed out the last few years, we would not be winning Super Bowls. We would not be winning the comebacks, the big wins, all of our big wins in our franchise history and the Patriots history. We would not be winning those. So New England Patriots need to relax because last time I checked, all the teams who overpaid players and drafted high players in the NFL draft the last few years up to now. How many Super Bowl wins, how many comeback wins do they have? I mean, please tell me last time I checked, not a lot of players have lived up to expectations, have not done good, have not come through in the big moments, quarterback, receivers, running back, the whole long yard. So New England fans, you need to relax. The player we draft the other night, I'm very happy with what we draft. He's a good blocker up front for the offensive lineman. He'll come through. He finished his four-year college. He did very good. So I'm very happy with that. New England will do good. They always do. And the players we missed out on the first round, please. Half of the players are neither going to be starting. Half of the players are probably neither going to show up. And most of the players you saw drafted are most likely straight bus, buses. Not even going to make it through full first season, maybe sex, second season. I doubt it. So to New England fans, you need to relax. You need to relax. We'll be fine, New England. We'll figure it all out. They always do. I'm not worried about it. Now, to Golden State Warrior fans, congratulations to us. We beat uh, we beat Denver Bronc Denver Nuggets a few nights ago, four one in that series. We'll probably be facing Minnesota or Memphis, whoever comes out of that series. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who we play. Golden State Warriors, uh, we're the team to beat. Stephen Curry has been amazing off the bench, and he was back in the starting lineup when we clinched the series season series against Denver Nuggets. So go go and State Warriors, all ready to cheer you on. This is a nice hat of the hat. See, very very nice. So see the logo, very very nice. So go Warriors, go Stephen Curry. Our team is loaded. We're ready to make a run. We're going back to the finals. All ready to hoist the championship. So go Golden State Warriors. All cheering you on always. Get the job done. See the nice beautiful hat. This is really nice. And it has the colors and everything. And here's the team. New York Yankees. I'm very happy we're on a six game win streak. Uh, we just swept the Orioles. We're playing much better. Uh, we're hitting the ball. We're driving in runs. We're doing much better when we have players on second and third. We're doing much, much better. And the young players who are doing good, I don't remember their names. They're coming through very good. So I'm very happy for that. Very, very happy for that. See, see the beautiful hat. 
and why the Yankees are playing much better. Uh, they're motivated because some reason um, baseball commissioner MLB is using the Yankees for a scapegoat, accusing us for stealing, stealing signals and cheating, which that's ridiculous. That, that, that is just ridiculous. The stuff coming out and then they're accusing us of uh, using something else and then now they're using that letter what I was reading accusing the Yankees of stealing using signals uh, cheat stealing signals blah 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 and all that funny sm smoke and mirrors very funny what I've been reading about accusing us of cheating. That's very funny. Yankees don't need to do that. We're a good team. We have, we have never done that. I don't know where this the Bell story has come from. It has came out of nowhere. They're just using us to brush over Houston's incident and Boston Red Sox incident. Because both of those got caught cheating. Now they're trying to accuse us. Put us in the news. Um, look over here, but not over here. They're just using the Yankees for a scapegoat. And it's very frustrating as a Yankees fan. I don't like that. I wish the commissioner would stop doing that in baseball. And discipline the teams who have caught, been caught cheating. But, of course, Houston, Astros, and Boston Red Sox have been slapped on the wrist pretty much. Wasn't discipline heavy dose heavy enough, but anyways, I'm glad the Yankees are playing much better, and that's the teams I root for in baseball, basketball, and football, and for um, college football, Alabama Crimson Tie, and for college basketball, Duke. Those are the teams I root for, and in hockey, Detroit Red Wings. So that's everything, guys. And for the name of the player I was talking about, um, just give me a second. Cole Strange. Now that young man is a good blocker and a good lineman for up front, the block up front on our offense lineman. So to, again... To the Patriots fans, relax. Like I said before, if we did what other teams are doing, we would not win. We would be in cap issue. And we would be stuck with players we we would have to move or trade or release. Then pay out the rest of that contract. But take care, everyone. And to Emmy Australia, I miss you very much. I hope you're doing well. And to all my Filipino friends and family, take care always. Have a safe weekend Friday. Bye-bye.